Okay, so let's talk about some of the physical properties of alcohols. So the first thing that I want to talk about is hydrogen bonding. Okay, and to start this discussion, uh, let's remind ourselves about the situation in water, which remember is um, in many ways analogous to uh, alcohols, right? So if we draw a couple of water molecules, maybe here, another one there, um, maybe keep going. All right, so each, each oxygen has two lone pairs and then two, two hydrogens. And those, those are, those are hydrogen oxygen bonds, which remember are highly polarized towards the oxygen, which is much more electronegative. So you will probably recall from general chemistry that water uh, can engage in what are known as hydrogen bonds, where the lone pair um, from an oxygen is interacting with uh, those, uh, the OH bond of a, another water molecule, right? So there's um, an interaction and uh, it's, it's obviously not a full covalent bond, but um, it perhaps is on its way to being a covalent bond, but there's some some um, stabilization that happens from that interaction. So you can have a hydrogen bond um, from oxygen of one molecule to hydrogen of, a, of another, but then that same oxygen molecule can also hydrogen bond um, itself to yet another water molecule. But in fact, we can do this at uh, basically every position. So every every oxygen can engage in a hydrogen bond and then every OH bond can engage in a hydrogen bond. And so in water, we get these very extensive networks of, of hydrogen bonding that happens, which in liquid water, um, you know, are constantly changing as the water molecules pass each other. Um, but they, it's a, you can think of a hydrogen bond as being a, a sort of stickiness that, that is keeping molecules together um, uh, more than they normally would be. Right. And so um, uh, that's why we find that uh, water boils. Right. And as I'm sure, you know, at 100 degrees uh, Celsius, um, and that's actually an incredibly high number because the molecular weight um, uh, of, of water is only 18. Right. And that, that's an incredibly small number. Uh, and you would normally expect molecules of that molecular weight to boil way below zero degrees Celsius. But here water boils all the way up at 100 degrees Celsius. And that is um, solely um, a, a result of the hydrogen bonding that water engages in. Now alcohols, on the other hand, don't obviously have two OH bonds to engage in hydrogen bonding. Right, because remember that with an alcohol, we replace one of those hydrogens with some organic group. And so now uh, we, we don't have the capacity to make all of these hydrogen bonds that, that alcohols do. Um, but there still is the capacity to do some of that hydrogen bonding. So I could just draw in a couple of alcohol molecules. And you can see, hopefully, that there is still this, this capacity to engage in um, each, each oxygen can still engage in its hydrogen bond. Um, and then there's one OH bond to engage um, in, in an adjacent hydrogen bond. So uh, a lot of the capacity is there, but it's, it's, a pro it's basically half of what uh, water um, is capable of, okay? And so you will find that alcohols have boiling points that are certainly elevated um, in comparison to say alkanes. Um, but they're not going to be um, quite as dramatic as water is. So the best way to illustrate this is to pick two molecules with the same molecular weight and the same atoms, but that are just isomeric. And so um, the one that um, I think is very illustrative is uh, dimethyl ether. So this has a molecular weight <clears throat> of 46.04, uh, 07. <clears throat> okay, and its boiling point is negative 24, <coughs> excuse me, negative 24 degrees Celsius. We can compare that to ethanol, 
right? Which is just isomeric. It has all the same number of atoms. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, of course, its molecular weight is exactly the same, 46.07. And the boiling point of ethanol is 78 degrees Celsius, right? So that's that's a pretty dramatic difference. There's a hundred more than a hundred degree difference between those two, even though they're the exact same weight. Um, the uh, forces that are binding the the uh, individual molecules together are much greater in ethanol because of the potential for hydrogen bonding. Um, and I would uh, just point out again that if you compare the uh, molecular weight of ethanol to water, you can see that it's uh, substantially heavier than water, and yet water is the higher higher boiling uh, compound. So that's sort of the power of those hydrogen bonds.